I just got a question from Claudia actually about uh, Fusion 360. So in her design, um, she's looking to create a diagonal, um, I guess, rectangular prism, um, and she's looking how to do that. So uh, in this short video, I'm just going to show you um, a couple different ways to create sort of a diagonal box within your workspace. Um, if you have any questions, just uh, leave them in the comments and, uh, and I will get to them. Have a great day. Okay, so the uh, first thing I'm going to do is save my work. Uh, so important. So uh, I am going to call this diagonal box. Now there's a couple different ways that you can do this. Um, so one of the easiest ways, um, so let's see. So if we, um, let's create a rectangular prism which is just a box that will act as sort of a, um, like a base for our creation, just to give us a point of reference. So I'm just gonna make just sort of a random sized flat box. So if we wanna create a, another rectangular prism that sort of goes up on an angle from this, there's a couple different ways to do it. <clears throat> Here's the easiest way. If I build another rectangular prism on the surface of this, so say just like a thinner box, just like that, and I bring it up a certain amount. Um, you have to not join it, so it needs to be a new body. So this is a critical piece right here, a new body. And I hit OK, so now this is just laying flat on there. I can go in and select that body, and then right click it, and one of the options is move copy, so you can use hotkey M, and that opens up this sort of manipulator tool where I can then go in and rotate this into any angle that I want. Um, and so that is the easiest way to do this. Um, so that's just using primitive shapes. Now we can get rid of that. So if I wanted to do this um, in a slightly more complicated fashion, what I can do is I can use a construction plane at an angle and select the edge that I want to put it through and then tilt it to whatever angle I want it to be on. So if I want it, say, at a 25 degree angle, I can leave it just like that and hit OK. And now this plane is available to create sketches on. So if I click on it, I can draw some stuff, whatever I want. And if I have a face like that, so notice that's sort of like a trapezoid. Um, and that trapezoid now is oriented at an angle and I can take this object and press pull it uh, to give it thickness. And now that is at an angle. Now the critical component to this is, is that you do not select join, that these all have to be new bodies. And so now I have a piece that is at an angle. Um, and again, save it right away. If you have any more questions, just let me know. Have a great day.